Hi, BK. Welcome back to BK Online. We miss you so much. It's Mr. Matt and Miss Alina. Before we get started today, we want to make a very special shout out to someone who's probably sitting next to you because it is Mother's Day. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Moms, you are loved. You are so special. And truth be told, none of us would be here if it weren't for you. <laughs> and in BK, we have some of the best moms. We right? do. That is facts. So, moms, thank you so much. Moving along with week eight, we're jumping back into the Bible. And this week's Bible story comes from Numbers 22 through 24. And this week, we are learning about Balaam and Balak. Now, Balaam was a messenger of King Balak from Moab. And King Balak sent Balaam on a special mission to curse the Israelites. Now, on his journey to go curse the Israelites, Balaam was met with two surprises. One, an angel of the Lord stopped him and his donkey three times. Because the light was so bright from the angel, Balaam couldn't see what was going on. So he actually hit the donkey three times because he didn't know why the donkey stopped. And in that moment, God actually gave the donkey the ability to speak. Yes, the donkey spoke words. And in that moment, the donkey said, why are you hitting me? And that changed Balaam's life forever because he realized that the Israelites are blessed by God. So he could not go and curse the Israelites. So he actually went back to the king, told him that, and also had a special message about the soon coming King Jesus. Fast forward 1400 years, Jesus is sent by God to rescue the people from their sins. And what it, is it to sin? To sin is to think, speak, or behave in any way that goes against God and his commands. Miss Alina, what is our Bible verse? Our Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And it reads as, Trust, Trust. in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. So, keep memorizing the verse, keep learning the hand motions, and next week, we have a very special surprise to announce mm -hmm. in regards to our Bible verses. A little hint, you're going to want to make sure that you've had that verse memorized. And the hand motions. <laughs> also, what is our activity for this week? This week we have some fun coloring sheets and activity pages that go along with our story. And in addition to that, we also have some fun activities what? for your mothers. We've got um, a fun coloring page and an activity page for moms and also one for grandmas too. Can't what? forget about the grandmas of BK. Can't forget about the grandmas. No. So have some fun doing those. You can get some paint, glitter, sequin stickers. What? Yarn. Beads. Flowers. Paint. Glitter. I think you already said those. Glue. <laughs> make it fun. Make it special. Make it creative. And make it for your mom. Yeah. Because... I know you love her, uh -huh. and, and she loves you. Yeah, you can even go beyond that and maybe clean your room without having your mom ask you. Make her breakfast. Uh -huh. Pick her some flowers. Love on her. Mm -hmm. Give her a big hug. Give her a big kiss. Rub her back. Do whatever you want to do to make today special. Mm -hmm. And love on your mom. BK, we love you so much. And we miss you more than ever. Mm -hmm. And BK families, if you need anything, please do not hesitate to ask us because we are here for you. Absolutely. We love you. We're praying for you. And we will see you next week on BK Online. Bye. Bye. The Israelites came to the edge of the promised land. They camped near the Jordan River in the plains of Moab. By now, all of the previous generation had died except for Moses, Joshua, and Caleb. Balak, the king of Moab, saw the Israelites and was afraid. If the Israelites moved into Moab, 
they could take over. King Balak sent his messengers to a man named Balaam. The king said, come and curse the Israelites so that I might be able to defeat them. The king believed that whomever Balaam cursed became cursed and whomever he blessed became blessed. When Balaam went with the king's officials, God sent an angel to stop Balaam. Balaam could not see the angel, but his donkey could. Three times the angel stood in the way, and three times the donkey stopped. First, the donkey went off the road. Then she ran into a wall. Finally, she crouched down on the ground. Balaam didn't understand why the donkey was stopping. He hit the donkey with his stick, so God gave the donkey the ability to speak. What have I done to you that made you beat me three times, the donkey said. You made me look like a fool, Balaam said. God then allowed Balaam to see the angel, and Balaam said, I was wrong. I didn't know you were trying to stop me. If you don't think I should go, I'll return home right now. The angel said, it's all right for you to go, but you must only say what I tell you. When he arrived, Balaam told the king, I will only say what God tells me to say. Balaam told the king that God had blessed the Israelites. So Balaam blessed them too. In fact, he blessed them three times. The king was angry. I brought you here to curse the Israelites, but you have blessed them, he said. Go home. Before Balaam went home, he had a special message for the king. Balaam said that one day, the Lord would be born to the people of Israel. The message was a special promise. I see him, but not now. I perceive him, but not near. A star will come from Jacob, and a scepter will arise from Israel. After Balaam had said these things, he went home. Balaam could not curse God's people. God had blessed the Israelites, so Balaam blessed them too. 1,400 years after Balaam announced God's promise, Jesus was born. God sent Jesus to bless the whole world by rescuing people from sin. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. William from New York, New York asks, I heard some of my friends talking about angels the other day. Do angels really exist? Thanks for asking that question, William. It's a great question. And today in the story, we see an angel. The Bible talks quite a bit about angels as well. And so we know that they are real and they exist. Now, we have never seen an angel most likely. They are created beings that are in the spiritual world that we often don't see, but that doesn't mean they're not real. All throughout scripture, we see time and time again where God sends angels to serve a purpose. They are his servants. They usually come and deliver a message on his behalf. And sometimes we see that God sends angels to serve his people, that they come with a very specific role to take care of his people or serve them in some way. And so while we do not see angels normally, we know they exist. They are separate beings that God created to serve him and serve his people. So what are some ways that you can serve God this week?